YouTube official gaming network and welcome to episode 22 of our Mario game and Java tutorial. Last episode we implemented power up locks into our game. This episode we're going to be implementing a damaging system. So if you don't know what that means, let's say we're big and we hit a Goomba then we'll go small and if we're small and we hit a Goomba then we'll die. And uh, So first of all we're going to go on our main package, our com.tutorial.mario package. We're going to create a new package and we're going to call it state. And this will hold a lot of enumerators or enums like our ID. Our ID is an enum. Uh, so it will hold enums like player state, game state, menu state and uh, maybe more to come. And because this is a damaging system and it will be related to our player, we're going to create an enum called player state. So we're going to right click on our package, create new enum. And we're going to call it player state. Okay. There we go. And in here, we're going to put big, small, and dead. Alright, so that's pretty much it. That's all we have to type in here, nothing else. So we're going to go into our player class. And we're going to create a player state because, yeah, it's our player. So private player state state. And because our player starts off small, we're going to type state is equal to player state dot small. And uh, just put this in our constructor under our super. So we're going to go into our if statement where we check if we're colliding with a, a mushroom. And under set y t p y minus height, uh, we're going to type state is equal to player state dot big because now we are big. Actually, we're going to type if if state is equal to player state dot small. So if our player is small, then it'll go big because there's no reason making it big a second time. In our if statement, if we're checking, if we're colliding with our Goomba and not stomping on its head, we're going to type if if state is equal to player state dot big, then state is equal to player state, player state dot small. Then under that line, we're going to type else if state is equal to player state state dot small then of course we are going to die and we're actually going to make our first if statement if state is equal to play state dot big that if statement we're going to make I'm going to give it a body and under the line where we set our player state to small we're going to type width forward slash equals two and that pretty much divide our width divided by two just remember for Java, a forward slash is pretty much a division sign. And uh, pretty much anywhere else, like on the internet and all that stuff, forward slash is pretty much the division sign. And of course, we'll do the same thing. Height divided by 2. And of course, this will make our player our normal small size again. Because we'll be big, we'll be twice as large. So yeah, we're going to set our player to uh, our normal small size. Alright, so let's run our game. Alright, let's say if we go to the Goomba, well, we'll die. Actually, I should have gotten a mushroom, so let me just run it again. And uh, don't kill our Goomba, cause, just because, you know, we need to test the whole thing. So yeah, let's get big. Let's collide with our Goomba, as you can see. We go small. Then we end up stomping our Goomba because we, when we go small, we end up above the Goomba. And then we stomp him and we don't want that. So here, we're just going to type x 
plus equals width, so we're just adding width, the value of width to x and y, uh, and add height to y. So now let's try it. Alright, we'll just get our, um, let's get our mushroom. Come on, mushy. There we go. Alright, so you can see we're small. And then there you go. Now I'm going to wrap up this episode here. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment and subscribe. If someone you know is interested in learning how to program a game in Java, please send them this tutorial. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.